my loves, welcome, welcome back. You already know who I am. I am your manifestation coach, here to help you boss the fuck up so that you can get what it is that you want. And we're not playing no games. So with that being said, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell notification. You do not wanna miss out on these videos. Also, if you are tired of playing these whack ass, dumb ass, immature, childish ass games with your specific person, hit the link in the description box and sign up for coaching with me. And you know what? We're gonna put together a boss ass game plan and stop all that shit. I just don't got time for that, okay? Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and let's get into how to get they ass to miss you. Like a boss, okay? We want somebody to miss you, okay? You are going to have to take they ass off the pedal stool. You got to take they ass off the pedal stool. First things first. You may ask, well, how do you do that, Kreisha? How do you take them off the pedal stool? I'm about to tell you. Whenever you are sitting around and you're like, oh, I just really miss him. Like, I miss her. Like, damn, I just, I just love her so much. Like, I just, I just need to talk to her. I just need to talk to him. Like, I don't know, like... I just want to see my SP. Hell nah, that, that ain't, that's not how we doing it. That's just not how we doing it, okay? When you doing it like that, your mind is saying, oh, she or he, whoever you are, got them on the pedal stool. That's what your subconscious mind is like, oh, okay, you are like, you're worshiping them in a sense, not really, but you know, when you have that person on the pedal stool, it's like you're looking up to them. That ain't how you do it. When you want somebody to miss you, you have to say it like this. They ass miss me. She's thinking about me. She knows that I'm the best thing that ever happened to her. Or he knows that I am the best thing that ever happened to him. I'm the only person that he loved. Like, this man missed me. Instead of saying, like, I miss him, I love him, you're going to reverse it around, okay? Because, see, that's when you start, that's when you take your position back as a boss, king, or queen. When you switch the roles up, you switch it back on they ass, okay? When you do that, now who on the pedestal? You are, right? You're on the pedal stool now. And when you say it like that, it feels so good, don't it? It feels like, like, you know, so powerful when you do that. Because your mind is starting to say, oh, okay, now we know who the boss is. Because at first, you talking about you miss him. I miss him. I just want to be with him. You know, I want to see him. I just wish he would call me. I just wish he would text me. I just wish he would reach out to me. Then, you know, what was saying, how, how the way you were saying that is your mind was seeing it as, Mm, yeah, I guess that's what you want. And when you say, I, I wish they would call me or I really miss them, you got to understand that your mind is going to keep on giving you that feeling. It's going to keep on making you feel like you miss them. Remember, your, your words are powerful. Whatever you say, whatever you think is powerful. So your mind is going to make sure that you continue to feel like you miss them. Or you continue to feel like I want to see them. You know, you're going to keep staying stuck in that fucking position. No, 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 no. Fuck all that. No, they miss me. They want to see me. His ass is thinking about me. She's fucking thinking about me. Why? Because I'm a boss. That's why. Because I've been a boss. That's why. And you know, and when you say stuff like that, that's also your self-concept speaking to you too. You know, like, fuck all that, Okay. Leave the fear alone or wondering, like, I wonder if he ever going to see me. I wonder if he ever think about me. No. See, when you, like I told you before, I don't know if I said this in one of my videos, but when you allow fear to enter into your mind, you allow your belief to exit the room immediately. So hell no. It's like move into a different state of having, move into the state of them wanting you. Okay. And then literally when you, when you just switch it around like that, then guess what? they start to think about you they start to miss you and whatever it is like you know that they done to hurt you like stop thinking about that because it can only happen once like when they whatever the fuck they did to you before last week a month ago it was old it's old it didn't happen today it's not going to happen tomorrow they said what they said see you still living with some shit that happened to you a week ago or a month ago or whatever 
but you keep thinking about it. See, right now, it's dead. It's only what? A memory. That's all it is. It's a memory now. But the, because you keep thinking about what they did and how they acted towards you, you become a victim. And now, you are keeping your attention on that old version of them. And guess what? They, in your fucking 3D, they have to keep showing up like that. So when you pull your attention away now from you're it, creating something different and you're getting a different outcome, okay? So mind over matter, mind like a fucking boss, mind over matter, mind like a fucking boss. That's what we're doing, okay? If you need some help, go ahead and click the link in the description box below and I'm going to help you. And it's some other stuff that I want to address about some shit, but I'm going to tell you guys in the next video, okay? But right now, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.